Advanced Locomotion System version 4 is a reactive animation framework for single player characters, offering third person and first person applications a convincing movement system with many different movement states, including walking, crouching, rolling, sprinting, vaulting, mantling, and jumping, as well as a slow motion mode, inverse kinematics for correct placement of feet on uneven surfaces, and a toggleable ragdoll physics mesh mode. ALS is completely free, having been selected for the permanently free collection program in the Unreal Engine Marketplace, and with the author eventually hired by the Epic Games team. While it is straightforward enough to simply create an ALS project from the Marketplace page or from your personal vault after acquiring it, and then building your project upon the ALS foundation, Sometimes you already have a project in progress, or want to use another marketplace asset as a starting template, and then implement the ALS functionality to it. In that case, a simple content migration is not sufficient, although a necessary first step. Right-click on the Advanced Locomotion version 4 folder in the Content Browser. Click Migrate. All folders and subfolder contents, as well as their references, will be marked for migration. Confirm with OK. Maneuver to the content folder of your pre-existing project to implement ALS in. When correctly positioned, click Select Folder. A pop-up down to the right will inform you whether the migration was successful or not. With the migration completed, close the ALS project and open your pre-existing project instead. The ALS folder will now have appeared in the Content Root folder. It might be tempting to simply go to Blueprints, Character Logic, and drag out the ALS Animan character blueprints into the level. Disable automatic player possession of the pre existing character, and then enabling the same for the ALS character by setting it to player index 0. But clicking play, we notice that experience is far from what we expect from the ALS template. This is mainly because the default player controller has not yet been changed in the project game mode, so in this particular case it is still the third person template player controller which is used, and not the ALS player controller. We change this in the project settings, under maps and modes. Either we change the game mode, comparable to the rulebook of board games, to the ALS game mode, which will automatically change the default pawn class and the default controller to the ALS ones, or if we already have a custom game mode, or one we want to keep for any reason, we can leave it unchanged and instead change the two relevant settings to the ALS ones. Testing this out, we can see that the situation has improved, and some keyboard shortcuts are functioning, but we are still unable to control the actual character. This is due to the necessary input mappings are still missing. Go into Project Settings, in Input, a subcategory of Engine, we can expand Axis Mappings and Action Mappings. The text strings here are character per character exactly what is and can be referenced by any blueprint to define the consequence an input has. While individual keystrokes can be referenced in a blueprint as well, input mappings allow for the use of several different input methods for the same functionality to be triggered with one single reference. If we take a look at the third person template action mapping jump here, we can see that all these different inputs are each a valid input for the action mapping jump to trigger. But looking at the input mappings for the advanced locomotion system template project, we can see that the actual wording of the equivalent action in ALS is jump action.
Thus, if we change the jump string here to a jump action string and test it out, we can see that the character now jumps when we press the spacebar. Note, however, that changing the name of an input mapping will break all functionality which references the previous name, like the jump action of the third person template character here. Even when press spacebar here, nothing happens. So if you intend to any degree keep using previously existing player controllers, it is advised not to rename any input mapping, but to create separate new ones instead. Since we for this tutorial will only use the ALS character, we can delete the pre-existing one, and be fine with renaming the equivalent mappings which already exist. The list of necessary input mappings is too long for this tutorial format, but in the end, the renamed and new input mappings should contribute to the list looking like this. The naming should be exact, for the blueprint references to be valid, but it is an but it is entirely up to you to define which actual keys are triggering the input mapping. To fully implement the ALS functionality, there are some small things left to do. Under Collision, create a new trace channel with the name Climbable and have its default response set to Block. This enables the vaulting and mantling motions. In the same page, under Preset, add two new presets. The first one being ALS Character. Have its collision enabled set to both Curie and Physics, its object type as Pawn, and pick a description such as Custom collision settings for the capsule in the ALS base character. Have all trace types set to ignore and all object types set to block. Accept. Add the second one named ALS underscore prop. Its collision should be both query and physics. Its object type should be world dynamic. Pick a description such as custom collision settings for props. And like with the other one, set all trace types to ignore and all object types to block and accept. The last thing to do is to go to Physics, go down to Physical Surface, and have the Surface Type 1 defined as Soft. This should include all functionality which is included in the Advanced Locomotion System version 4 to your project. Thank you for your time.